Hi, and welcome back to Cooking Computers and More. Today I'm going to be looking at Gparted, which is a utility that's useful for repartitioning drives and formatting drives. Um, doesn't matter if it's a hard drive, flash drive, as long as it's some type of storage media, Gparted is the way to go. I'm using Ubuntu 11.10 and as you can see I don't have the unity interface um, I guess that's the subject for another video but um, I have I like gnome I just can't stand unity sorry folks so uh, we're gonna open up a terminal here and we're going to type sudo apt get install gparted and I've already got it, so I don't have to go through the installation. It's very short. So because we're going to be making some changes to permissions and uh, the file system of a drive, you have to have administrative privilege in order to run gparted. So we're going to use sudo gparted, and that will open up the utility. Again you have to run it with administrative privileges because otherwise gparted wouldn't be able to do anything so uh, we're gonna take a look here and looks like 238 gig well that is my operating system hard drive so we definitely don't want to touch that uh, there's my one gig flash drive so we're gonna select that in this box up here now we can see what's on that flash drive so right now it's formatted with FAT32 for approximately a gig of storage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unmount this drive. Once it's unmounted, then I can make changes to it. So I'm going to delete that partition. Now I'm going to set up a partition that's 256 meg of Linux swap and we'll just call this swap and then I'm going to set up another partition that's going to be ext3 now the reason I'm doing this is because I'm running ddwrt on my router and it needs a Linux swap partition and it also needs a place to store configuration files and such so it's a little bit of overkill but more storage is always better than not enough so now we've got our changes set up it's going to delete the FAT32 partition and all of the data on that drive so be very careful that you check the drive first to make sure you don't need something uh, then it's going to create a partition of Linux swap for 256 megs. It's going to create a second partition that is ext3 for approximately three quarters of a gig. And so we're going to click apply. Of course, it's going to warn us that, well, you're going to lose all your data. I'm okay with that. So this operation is going to take place here, and it's actually very quick. Um, for those of you who may be um, getting a Raspberry Pi whenever they get them in the mail to us, um, Gparted is probably going to be your friend. So here we are. And now we can see that we have a 256 meg Linux swap partition and a three quarter of a gig ext3 partition. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some of my other videos and hope to see you back.